Hi, this is Rachel from CouponsToWork.com, and my question of the week, um, by the way, every Friday we're going to do these silly question days, and my question of the week is, have you met any celebrities whom you met, and um, what was your reaction? And um, could you write in the comments below let me know? It's, you know, life is short. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow, and everybody has a story, everybody has experiences. Um, I've met my fair share of celebrities. I've met, well, my previous blog video, you've known that I met Kenny Moore before she was on The Real House of Atlanta. Uh, I met her in, in, in Michigan, actually, um, back in the early 90s when she was um, Miss Michigan. And she gave really wonderful advice, and she's a very, very nice person. But it was obviously years ago. Um, but nothing but great things to say. I, to give a little 411 info about to me, I have um, a degree in political science, so I get to work with some really awesome politicians and meet some really great people like uh, President Bill Clinton, Jimmy Carter, um, Bush. I've not met Obama yet, but that would be, that'll be an experience to meet. Um, I worked in British Parliament, and uh, I got, almost got to meet Nelson Mandela. Unfortunately, I couldn't because um, the tickets, it was a charity thing, and my the person I was working for um, didn't submit the the party invite in time, so none of us that was working um, for the MP never didn't get to go. And I thought, oh man, I can only meet Nelson Mandela. That'd been awesome to meet. Um, so okay, I'm gonna run down my list of chat of, of celebrities I met. I met Paris Hilton years ago. Very nice person. Nothing, you know, nothing bad to say. She's a very, very, very smart, very nice person to meet. Um, and funny. And I, I met her, I think it was, oh gosh, it was in California. I think it was a charity event, so I remembered. Um, I did a bit of acting. I was in, I was a featured extra in three scenes in We Are Marshall. And I got to meet Matthew McConaughey, cool dude. Um, and I, I wore a wig. So my hair was platinum blonde. They made me wear a wig. And the guy that was doing the wig in the trailer did not like working on extras. In fact, he was so snooty. He showed pictures of... Oh, I picture Justin Timberlake. I don't work with stars. I don't work with nobodies. I said, no one's a nobody, buddy. That was the most awful wig. I'll, someday I'll show the picture if you're all curious. I'll, I'll show it one day. Um, so I lived in England for a bit, and I got to know Prince Charles. Very cool dude. Very smart. Very lovely man. Um, his sons, William and Harry. Uh, I met Kate Middleton before she was known as the Kate Middleton. And... Um, I mean, the, I mean, before she'd be married to Wills, I mean, when they were starting dating, I can't remember they were dating for, it was for three months they were dating. Um, it wasn't known 100% to the press, it was all speculation at the time. And um, my reaction to meeting her was not, you know, typical. You know, she seems a very lovely person. When I first met her, I was sitting at the table um, with William, and I'm never going to, I'm not going to tell the whole story, but I remember, he didn't introduce me to her, I remember that. And she was wearing this purple dress. And I remember saying, oh, hi, nice to meet you. And she came and looked like, oh, great. You know, the jealous, the jealous girlfriend, which, you know what, she have a right to be. Um, I didn't fancy William. I thought he was a pretty cool guy. You know, he's a lefty, I'm a lefty. Um, I just remember, well, I'm not going to tell all the information about what happened in Benton because, you know what, I respect people's lives. And, you know, we all have our experiences. Um, I knew Prince Harry. I got to meet him for a bit. I danced with him, and I actually got into a tabloid, and it was a very interesting experience. Um, all I can say was it was a very well, it was a wild party I was at, and um, I was acquaintances with a bunch of his friends at the time, and a lot of pictures got in. But because I'm not a famous person, which I'm thankful for, um, there are a lot of pictures that were taken that year. I'm not gonna say what year it was, and if I had been famous, some of those pictures might have came out, and I'm so glad because it was. A wild fun night um, and you know a, a fun memory but he's a good dancer as so, that you know very funny very smart and I, I remember I remember telling him I said you know what you're gonna do really well in life and he's like oh no I'm not. I said no you're very smart and look at him he's done such great things I'm so proud of him um, will I ever meet them again probably not and well I guess he never you never know what's gonna happen tomorrow it'd be cool to meet them again um, just tell about Terry see I told you so I told you um, I'm very proud of all the great things he's done. Uh, let's see. Oh, gosh. Who else? Am I? Oh, yes, I was in uh, a tabloid, a French tabloid. I went to a Scottish ball, a charity event, and um, I got. I was wearing this beautiful dress. I had a tiara, um, gorgeous dress. I put my name in there. It was beautiful. It was kind of neat just seeing myself, you know, my name in the magazine. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm just glad I'm not a famous person because, man, your lives are stocked and there's all this 
rubbish written about you. People like Press Hilton writes crap, site, you know, crap things about people. I've, I remember emailing him a couple of times because he was saying stuff about people I met in the past. I said, look, don't write this crap. That's not true. They are not like that. Um, you know, that's just me. I'm a positive person. I don't believe in being negative. I don't believe in just putting people down. If you don't know them, don't say crap. That's my opinion. Um, anyway, so I met a lot of great people in life. I'm addicted to polo. I'll just bring that up. Um, that's how I got to meet the, a lot of these people. Um, you know, if you go ever go to polo match, it's the most awesome game you ever meet because you get to socialize a lot. Most of it's socializing, and then you get to watch the game. The match happens really quickly, and then you socialize, get a bit of pims. Pims is an awesome drink. Um, if you never have it, I recommend it. Look at Google what it is. Um, it's a really fun. It was uh, good times. And so, anyways, now I'm a single mom. I'm proud of it. I run a I think a cool website, coupons to work dot com, and um, you know I'm writing a site basically for my children, so make sure they have a great future. Another th a bit, bit tidbit about me was yes, I used to model. Um, right after actually, right after I met Kenya Moore, I went to a modeling agency. I didn't do you know top of the line modeling like um, Naomi Campbell and Tyra Banks, but I, you know, got to do cool. Some I did a window modeling a couple of times. It's just. The agency was more or less telling me to drop out of school, and I said, no, I am not dropping out of school. Education is very important. So anyone listening to this video blog, remember, education is important. Don't drop out of school because you get a great opportunity to become a model or an actor. You know what? Because by the time you hit a certain age, you have nothing to fall back on, and you need to have that education. You can do, like, you know, maybe during the summer, but you need to have a childhood. You need to have, you know, experience, you know, middle school and high school and college. I didn't, I don't know where I'd be today. Um, so anyways, this is Rachel from coupons to work.com. Hope you have a great weekend and, um, I'll see you on Monday for my next video blog about budgeting tips. Um, I actually promised to do one about chores with kids, what I've been doing, what, what works for me and, um, how to deal with the trouble to your, a two year old who has a, a lot of energy that gets in trouble a lot. So, um, I you know I have two kids, so I will be blogging some more budgeting and fun little tips and little craft projects. Um, since it's end of school year next week, um, we have to make some projects, some gifts for the teachers. So, um, and I can do it on a penny budget. Well, not on a penny, but make it for fun. So, anyways, have a great night. Bye.